Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel Civil Line. Myself Milan Patel, Assistant Professor at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today's topic is Traffic Engineering. So without wasting much time, let's begin with the first lecture of Traffic Engineering. In today's lecture, we will learn Introduction to Traffic Engineering. Then our second topic is Traffic Characteristics. And lastly, we will discuss about traffic studies and analysis. So let's begin with the first topic, which is introduction to traffic engineering. So for that, first we have to understand what is traffic. Traffic is defined as the actual movement of vehicles on road. But what about traffic engineering? Traffic engineering is the branch of engineering, which deals with improvement of traffic performance on road network and terminals through systematic traffic studies, scientific analysis and engineering applications. It includes planning and geometric design on one hand and regulation and control on the other hand. Traffic engineering therefore deals with the applications of scientific principles, tools, techniques and findings for safe, rapid, economical and efficient movement of traffic. Next, we have to understand the objective of traffic engineering. So the main objective is to achieve efficient, free and rapid flow of traffic with least number of accidents. It also makes the streets safe for movements, both pedestrians and vehicles. But next question is, what is the scope of traffic engineering, right? So it is mainly divided into six major sections like traffic characteristics, traffic studies and analysis, traffic operation, control and regulations, planning and analysis, geometric design and administration and management. Now we will discuss the applications of traffic engineering. It focuses mainly on research for safe and efficient traffic flow such as road geometry, sidewalk and crosswalks, cycling infrastructure, traffic signs, road surface marking, and traffic lights. Traffic engineering deals with the functional part of transportation system except infrastructures provided. Now we will discuss our second topic which is traffic characteristics in detail. It is basically divided into two parts. One is road user characteristics and second is vehicular characteristics. Road user characteristics is further subdivided into three parts such as physical characteristics, mental characteristics and psychological characteristics. While vehicular characteristics is further subdivided into two parts such as static and dynamic. Here physical characteristics is all about vision, hearing, strength and general reaction which is primary requirement when we talk about road user characteristics. Now mental characteristics is focusing on knowledge, skill, intelligence, experience and literacy. And psychological characteristics is all about PIEV theory. Here P stands for perception, I stands for interaction, E stands for emotion and V for volition. Let me give you one example to better understanding this PIEV theory. Suppose I drive one vehicle and suddenly another vehicle comes in front of me. At that time, first thing comes in my mind is how I can prevent this accident. In this situation, a person need different time to understand and react the situation. So PIV theory is representing different time required for different situations. Here perception time is the time required for sensations received by the eyes and ears of the driver to transmit it to the brain through the nervous system and spinal cord or it is the time required to perceive an object or situation while interaction time is the time required for the driver to understand the situation occur on the road it is also the time required for comparing different thoughts then third is the emotion time which is the time elapsed during emotional sensations and other mental disturbances like fear anger or any other emotional feelings and the last is volition time which is the time taken by the driver 
for the final action such as break application so now you can better understand what is piv theory is now let's talk about second is this vehicular characteristics as i said it is divided into two parts static and dynamic in static it includes dimension weight and maximum turning angle of any vehicle the second part is dynamic characteristics which includes speed acceleration braking characteristics and power of engine of any vehicle so that's all about this traffic characteristics now let's move to our last topic of today's lecture which is traffic studies and analysis so to analyze any traffic we have to perform different traffic studies first here on screen you can clearly see number of traffic studies like traffic volume study spot speed study speed and delay study origin and destination study traffic flow study traffic capacity study parking study and last is accident study now let's discuss traffic volume study first so the concept of traffic volume is the number of vehicle crossing a section of road per unit time to any selected period the unit of traffic volume is vehicles per hour or vehicles per day now let's discuss its applications it includes classification of traffic number of vehicles in each class direction of each class traffic flow in each direction at intersection and peak traffic period now let's discuss spot speed study in detail so basically spot speed is the instantaneous speed of vehicle at specified section or location it is fluctuated by different factors like geometry like uh, traffic condition time place environment or nature of driver various instruments which are used for spot speed study are graphic recorder photoelectric meter electronic meter and radar speed meter its main application of this spot speed study is to do planning of traffic control and regulations and analysis of road accidents now we will move to the next topic which is speed and delay study for that data which is observed by speed and delay study are required which are running speed overall speed fluctuations in speed and delay between two stations now let's discuss its applications this study gives information related to duration frequency causes of delay time spent by vehicles and efficiency of roadway let's move to the next topic which is origin and destination study it is carried out to know origin and destination of various vehicles data collected for this study are number of vehicles their origin and destination number of passengers in each vehicles and their route for that different methods are used which are for first is house interview method in this method a random sample of 0.5 to 10% population is selected and residents are visited by training person who collect the travel data from each member of household the data collected might be useful either for road planning network and other road facilities so the question comes in your mind is which type of data will be collected in this study so the data collection is like number of trips mode of transport of each trip and their origin and destination now the second method of origin and destination survey is license plate method so this method is consists of nothing but the registration number of vehicle entering or leaving the area which is under the survey now let's move to the third method of origin and destination study which is written postcard method in this method questionnaires are handed over to the driver at the survey points and requesting to all the drivers to complete the information and return it to by post by that we will collect the data the fourth method of origin and destination study is roadside interview method in this method interview stations are previously decided on the road 
and vehicle are stopped at interview station by group of person and data are collected now the last method of origin and destination survey is tag on car method in this method at each point where road crosses vehicles are stopped and tag is fixed on the top of the car or a vehicle the tag for different survey stations have different shapes or color to identify the survey station the vehicles are stopped again at the exit point where the tags are removed the time of entering and time of leaving are recorded which is used to determine the journey time of the vehicles now you can know the different method of origin and destination survey and the last is its applications it is mainly used for planning road network and other facilities it is used to regulate movement of heavy vehicles and it is used to construct new bridges as per traffic demand let's understand the traffic flow study in detail so first question which comes in our mind is what is traffic flow traffic flow is the study of intersection between vehicles drivers and infrastructure including highways and traffic control devices so traffic stream generally has flow and counter flow along a common route unless the stream is separated into pair of one way flows by proper design or regulation so transfer of vehicles from one traffic lane to next adjacent lane is called as diverging and merging here are the basic tra traffic operations like diverging merging crossing and waving are shown in this figure now the next topic is its applications so its application is to design geometric features such as number of lanes width of carriageway traffic capacity and traffic volume now let's discuss traffic capacity in detail so traffic capacity is the ability of a roadway to accommodate traffic volume it is expressed as the maximum number of vehicle in a lane or a road that can pass a given point in unit time usually an hour its unit is vehicles per hour per lane or vehicles per hour per roadway now we will discuss about how to determine this traffic capacity for determination of theoretical maximum capacity one equation is there which is shown in figure which is c is equal to 1000 v by s here c is equal to capacity of single lane vehicles per hour where v is equal to speed of a vehicle in kilometer per hour where v is equal to speed of a vehicle in kilometer per hour and s is equal to average center to center spacing of vehicles and the last we will discuss about is applications it has many application but we will talk about some of them first application is to measure of relative importance of roads for deciding the priority of improvement and expansion it is also used in planning traffic operation and control of existing facility to design new facilities and the last is analysis of traffic patterns and trends now let's discuss the next topic which is parking study parking is the major problem in big cities any vehicle will at one time be parked short time or longer time provision of parking facilities is essential need for parking space is usually very great in areas of business residential and commercial activities with this study demand and provision of parking facilities is worked out there are some ill effects of not providing this parking like traffic congestion accidents environmental problems and obstruction to emergency vehicles are facing nowadays in big cities so there are few methods which are used in parking survey are like in and out survey fixed time sampling and license plate method are used now let's see its application it's mainly used to improve existing parking facility and to suggest provision of new parking facilities now let's discuss the last study of traffic which is accident study in detail accident mainly occurs only due to the fault of drivers 
or the person who drive the vehicles. The problem of accident is very acute in road transportation due to complex flow patterns of vehicular traffic, presence of mixed traffic and pedestrians. Now, the collection and maintenance of accurate records of traffic accidents is essential for solution of traffic problems. For that, data which is required is date, time and person involved in accident, location of accident, details of vehicles involved in accident, nature of accident, road and traffic conditions, primary causes of accident and financial loss due to accident is required. Now we will see its applications. Its application is to study the causes of accidents and to give suggestions for corrective measures at potential locations. Also, it helps to evaluate existing design of roads. So, that's all about traffic studies and analysis. And it is also the end of this lecture. I hope you all understand what is traffic engineering, what are the characteristics of traffic, and what are the various traffic studies and analysis. See you soon in the next lecture. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Civil line. Thank you.